Welcome to this video about just intonation. We will build a just tuning based on a Pythagorean tuning that was made in another video. I've made a copy of the Pythagorean tuning so that we can compare the two tunings. In just tuning, we replace the dissonant Pythagorean third with a pure third, which is calculated from the fifth harmonic. The pure third is smaller than both the Pythagorean third and the equal temperate third. The difference between the Pythagorean third and the pure third is called a syntonic comma. It has ratio 81 to 80. Let's replace the Pythagorean major thirds with pure thirds by dividing with the syntonic comma. Note that the major thirds on the third and the seventh step are derived from the sixth step, so we need only adjust once per octave. We change the subscripts to indicate that the notes have been lowered by a syntonic comma. Now we can compare the major triads in the Pythagorean and in the just tunings. Most people can hear a difference between the two triads. The just triad sounds more consonant. Let's listen to all triads in just tuning. We notice that the second and the seventh degree triads sound somewhat out of tune. We can justify this mathematically by looking for the greatest common divisor of each triad. We propose a bass pitch for each triad by dividing the first pitch with a quotient. So the suggested common divider for the first triad is 55 Hertz. We will also suggest common divisors for the other triads. It takes a little footwork, but it may help demonstrate the integer relationships of the triads. For each note, we calculate the ratio to the bass pitch. All triads except the second and the seventh show simple integer relationships, as Pythagoras suggests. If we look at the second degree triad, we notice that the ratio between F sharp minus one and B zero is not a pure fit. Since we deliberately lowered the F sharp in order to make the third between D and F sharp pure, then the logical solution is to introduce a B minus one to be used in this context. Listening to the updated minor triad, some people will still find it out of tune but with the typical consonant softness of pure intervals.
we keep the new note in the scale and copy it to the upper octave. If we look at the 7th degree triad, we notice that the ratio between G sharp minus 1 and B0 is 5 to 6. Whereas the relationship to D0 is more remote for both G sharp and B. We can resolve this by introducing a new basic interval, the pure 7th, which is calculated from the 7th harmonic. Note that the pure 7th is more than 30 cents away from the equal tempered 7th at 1000 cents. We make room for the new D in both octaves. We name it D minus Z and we calculate it from E0. We can now calculate and play pure triads on all steps of the diatonic scale. If we go from triads to tetrachords, we get the following picture. We update the greatest common divisors of the major 7th chords. And we reintroduce the F-sharp 0 note from the Pythagorean tuning. So that we get simple ratios between the notes in the 7th degree chord. Let's hear the tetrachords. Although they might sound unfamiliar, they do have a certain soft consonance. However, in order to reach the simple ratios, we have introduced three extra notes per octave, so that for some diatonic steps, there is a choice to be made. In some harmonic progressions, several variations of the same step may follow each other in the same voice. This is a challenge to both musicians and to listeners. Now we can compare with the Pythagorean tuning. Let's make a copy of the Pythagorean tuning and change it into equal temperament for comparison. The only difference from the Pythagorean tuning is the size of the generating fifth of 700 cents. We calculate the ratio with tones in tunes from cent function. We make a few cosmetic changes. Then we have the same progression in equal temperament. Let's hear it.
Let's compare the three different half diminished chords. First, we select them. And then we play them. Of course, the ultimate environment for such experiments is your own system with your own sounds. The spreadsheets you've seen here can be downloaded from tonesintune.com. Thank you for watching this video.